Thousands of Muslims in Indonesia have staged a protest to try and stop the pageant taking place. Their chanting, Reject Miss World, is due to be held on the resort island of Bali this weekend. But why a contest devoted to exposing the female form is being held in a Muslim country at all is something of a mystery. Women should not be judged solely by their physical appearance, but also assessed on their intelligence, on obedience to their religion, as well as their contributions to the community and the nation. Therefore, we reject this contest. More than 300 members of several Muslim groups organised by the international Muslim organisation Hizbut Tahrir Indonesia staged a peaceful protest in Jakarta, close to where the local organisers are based. They held up banners outside the building, which was guarded by police. Most read, reject Miss World, it exploits women. Despite the pressure, the chairman of Miss World Indonesia says events will proceed as planned. There is no plan or thought from us, the organisers, to stop the Miss World pageant in Indonesia. We will continue to conduct all activities planned for Miss World in accordance with the culture, norms and ethics in Indonesia. Contestants have already started arriving for the competition, but it isn't just hardline Muslim groups that are angry about the contest. Some of the country's most influential clerics in the Indonesia Alema Council also want it stopped, and their fatwas are followed by many devout Muslims. Last week, they urged the government to cancel the event, saying the exposure of women's skin in such a competition violated Islamic teachings. The event is set to open on Sunday, but demonstrators are threatening to disrupt proceedings if it goes ahead as planned. This could actually be an interesting Miss World, but for all the wrong reasons. Chloe Culpin, Sky News.